I actually got into forex because of breaking out. So I didn't really learn how to trade from Kudro Forex. Okay. A lot of people who actually, you know, lose money in the forex market are actually greedy people. Practice, practice, practice. practice. Forex trading is actually 80% psychology. Yeah, yeah. The truth of the matter is those things you see on the charts that I think are confusing, trust me, like it's the easiest. <laughs> the heights attained by great men, rich and kept, right? They were not achieved by a sudden flight. Okay. But they, whilst their companions slept, they kept falling upwards in the night. Hey, what's up, people? Welcome to the channel. And this is another episode of the creative talk and today i'm going to speak to aram Della. he's a forex trader the market god he's been making it big in the forex trading so today we are going to talk about forex how you can start up as a beginner a complete beginner like myself who is going to learn today and a couple of other things that he may want to share with you you don't want to miss this episode so i'll allow him to introduce himself and we get started us welcome to the show thank you so much for this <laughs> informative show so my name is Aaron Bella a lot of people know me as the market god um, I'm a professional forex trader I've been trading these markets for the past three years and then basically yeah <laughs> oh that's that's very interesting so let's dig in right from um, how you started this whole journey I knew the time I met you I knew you were doing kind of travel content and, yeah. but all of a sudden you <laughs> vanished from YouTube so and cool. you came back full-time forex trader how did it all start well it's quite a very funny and interesting story so I actually got into forex because of breaking out <laughs> like, wow honestly so um you, you knew me well when i was you know um a content creator i was making travel related content mm-hmm. um that was on my air on the latch channel and uh you know i was actively creating and then you know i had a, a serious you know prior to that i was actually also you know getting slowly into the field of forex okay. i was doing my research but i just didn't want to jump in right away okay so you know i said that you know trying a couple of things putting in a couple of fifty hundred dollars losing it into the market and all yeah. then i remember so well in the month of december that was 20 um 20 20 20 20 20 okay. yeah um you know i had my first broken heart and then i just for some weird reason i just also didn't feel like creating content anymore so i left the space of youtube for like a year and during that year i just devoted myself into learning the market because i wasn't looking so good i didn't want to appear on camera to now come and be smiling to people wow. and say hi guys what's hi up welcome to today we are traveling to like you i didn't need yeah. to travel anywhere so i was like what job can i actually do that you know it's just going to make me money without having to have any kind of people relation mm-hmm. and then doing my research i really found out that like i just need to take you know that risk into going hard on forex so i set aside time to you know focus on learning i started by youtube and then you know um i started researching researching started learning i was looking for people in ghana that could really trade i was not finding anyone so because of that like you know i just started learning on the internet i started learning from out people from outside looking for you know courses to you know jump on and i just kept learning 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 and then you know one day I just, you know, decided to start putting in money, even though I was losing, I realized that my progress was, you know, getting so good. And then with time, like, this is where I am today. So you just made mention about risk. I have had a couple of people reach out to me that do I have an idea about Forex trading, especially like Forex trading and all those kind of like trading Bitcoin, Binance, all those things. Do you think it is very risky to jump into a space like that? Well, risk talking about risk is very relative okay. right now um when it comes to forex trading we have what we call calculated risk right in fact in forex trading you can have a million dollars account you can have a ten thousand dollar account you can even have a hundred thousand dollar account okay. but you can tell yourself that this hundred dollar account i want to risk only two dollars on this trade okay. so where does the risk come in when a lot of people be like forex is risky Risky. i don't want to risk my account no 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 it's not about like you don't want to really a lot of people who actually you know lose money in the forex market are actually greedy people okay like those who actually keep losing money is is actually because of greed because the way you can actually make money on the market is really simple okay right it's really easy you could easily make like you know a hundred dollars on the market today for example i took a trade with my community and you know we are currently up um, 641 dollars right mm-hmm. and this is a live account like this is a live account and this account is 11,000 12,000 dollars i decided to risk only let's say 300 dollars right so i in any worst case scenario i am comfortable with that risk so i wouldn't call it a risk 
like a high risk mm-hmm. that I'm going to lose all my money in the account. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then Forex trading is totally different from Bitcoin, Binance, and all mm-hmm. those things. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know I've seen the, the results that, especially you, I because I have known you for a while now. I think this is the first time you're yeah. meeting, but I've known you for a while now, and I know when you started and where you've got into. But for the average person who doesn't know you, who has no idea who you are, would you say Forex is very profitable and one should jump into it? Well, that's a very good question. So Forex is actually profitable, not when you jump into it. (laughs) Right? The way I see Forex is that Forex will really, you see, the beauty of Forex lies at the end of the tunnel. And it is only the strong who actually get to enjoy Okay. the beauty of forex okay. because any good thing does not come easy right? right when it comes to forex trading your first years might be bad your second year might be bad but on your third year you forget about the past two years trust me okay. like um, let me use myself as an example forex trading is very profitable if you follow the rules mm-hmm. but if you allow yourself to greet emotions fear and a whole lot of you know psychological issues trust me like you end up thinking forex is a scam and then like you just end up thinking like nah this thing doesn't work or it's just taking my money but in actual sense like honestly i think forex is really profitable very profitable. yeah so very profitable there's no business like forex to be very honest yeah. okay yeah all right so that said um what are your tips for a person like me who wants to jump into forex trading like for the very basic beginner who has no idea about forex what are some of the basic tips you give to the person all right so the very first thing is quite a number of people who actually want to jump into the forex the first thing that they always do is that charlie how much can i give you so that like you trade you for trade. me <laughs> or how much can i make if i give you a hundred dollars yeah. or how much if i give you a hundred dollars how much will i make in in, in, in one in one month okay right that's a no in forex you want to learn before you earn when you when oh. you, when you learn, then you can remove the L. Then you start earning, right? So honestly, the first step will be that you want to get yourself a mentor or do your research, okay. right? Now, talking about research is actually finding out the legitimacy of a business like this, and uh, this is the reason for the interview. So definitely, forex is actually legitimate. You can actually trade online, take your profit out, and then everything. Okay. Then you want to do your research about who to learn from because we have a lot of people on the internet who actually claim you know they are mm-hmm. good and then they end up teaching people rubbish just because they want to sell their courses and then make money out of it right mm-hmm. i've been trading the market for like the past three years and i don't even have a course out yet right so you want to focus on learning from like the right people you want to do your research when you find someone you think you know is claiming to be that mentor you want to find out who he who has learned from him you want to find out from their students find out whether this is actually profitable whether they are students they are, because their students are their fruits you want yeah. to find out whether they are actually making it in the market then you can jump on understand that this business is capital intensive right if you want to actually enjoy forex you actually need money so if you cannot even afford a hundred dollars or fifty dollars in learning forex then i don't see why you want to jump in into the market then what are you going to put in the market like yeah, someone yeah, is yeah, charging you a hundred dollars to learn and you're complaining then how much do you want to invest into forex like how much so learning from the right person is very important okay. then the second point is practice 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 thank god for forex we have what we call demo accounts or what we call paper trading okay. this is like a simulation of a real account right mm-hmm. on the actual forex market so okay. you can actually have a ten thousand fake account and then it's going to be simulated like the actual forex market okay. so when you take a trade you want to act like this a particular account is yours so you can have any account you can have a 500 dollar demo account you can have a thousand dollar demo account and you want to practice what you've learned from that mentor or wherever you've learned from okay. but if you're doing self-study too that's up to you you just want to practice what you've learned for like a month or two solid straight and then ask yourself that if this is the amount of money i'm putting into the market how much have I made at the end of the month or how much was I making consistently in every week, right? If you feel that like, you know, you're good to go, then the third point is to do what is to start investing, right? I had one quote from, you know, my mentor and my pastor. He told me that wealth favors the bold, right? Sometimes okay. yeah. like you might be scared that, hey, Charlie, what if I lose this money? But hey, mm-hmm. you need to put it in. The truth is you're actually going to lose money, <laughs> but you need to be prepared for it because yeah. the outcome and then the results and then the win rates after, you know, learning, is massively high so yeah that's my three major points 
that's that's a, some brilliant points that have and the the quotes that you just said is just amazing because literally in every part of the creative process or anything that you want to start you actually will lose something right. so if you are scared or if you fear that you're going to lose money in the process of learning forex trading then i think like myself then you are not ready so you need to put yourself in that state before you can jump right into it you are talking about having mentors do you train people on yeah yes yeah. so currently i i currently run like um one-on-one sessions mm-hmm. um i don't really have anything yet for beginners because it's quite difficult to teach beginners like you need to know but currently i run like people who are already into forex but are not really seeing profitability in the market okay. i kind of like i'm now working on my course to take you from you know it's called i i term it as the journey to profitability okay. right so i'm currently working on it and um, definitely when it's out it's going to be on my socials so oh, yeah that's 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 amazing so what are you having for for us the beginners since you have like you pick up from those who have an idea for us the beginners what can we reach out to you for tips can we especially the people watching this video? oh yeah definitely i mean like the fact that i'm saying that like um i i don't have anything yet for beginners does not mean that i'm just leaving you guys out of it right so you can hit me up and my youtube has like loads of content yeah. in there as well yes. you can watch my instagram lives they are very informative okay. right and it's going to help you i'm definitely working on something hard it's so not easy to create content like <laughs> course outlines for st- stuff oh, like that yeah, yeah but i'm definitely going to do it and then i'm going to make it like really subtle for everyone to jump in because i didn't find it easy when i was starting forex obviously yeah. so uh, if you are watching this and if you are thinking about starting forex trading aram is going to be one of the best people that i know that i'll recommend and i believe i'm going to have people like myself who join me and then aram is going to mentor us <laughs> on the on this journey okay so i always do this on my on this creative talk when i talk with people is i didn't actually inform you earlier i should have informed you earlier but because of the books that i'm seeing here i know it wouldn't be a new thing so between hard copy books and um audio books or let's say soft copy which ones do you prefer honestly i think i'll I, can i choose two <laughs> i think about it's like two, so you're choosing one so you said audio books uh, ebooks and then uh okay so I, I wanted to say that some people like reading the hard copy getting the copy honestly, and i'll go for hard copy hard copy yes because if ebooks like honestly unless of course you want to turn off your data okay <laughs> right now we live in a world of internet because like most of the time you are reading and you get distracted okay but once you have your book you are sitting somewhere you can read for example like you're catching a flight you can just spend time reading yeah so i prefer the hard copy yeah. books yeah that said what are the three books that you recommend to people like us who want to start especially related to it, it can be any book at all but since we are talking about business money and forex maybe you can add one all right so uh, so how many should i mention three three all right so funny enough no book relating to forex trading oh okay yeah but okay. the very first book i'm going to recommend for everyone is the richest man in, in Babylon. Babylon. like listen <laughs> that book yeah. like i never liked reading okay. that's the truth okay. like i if i take a book now give me five minutes i'm sleeping <laughs> yeah but that book has really taught me how to handle money okay. and then how to really understand that how businesses grow as well okay. so the richest b- man in babylon will be number one. number one the second will be the psychology of money okay right you need to get that book like listen if you really want to know how to handle money like you really want to know how to really get your your things on understanding the wealth process okay. bruh like you need to and then the third one it would be a battle between the riches that and the rich dad and poor dad and then the 10x rule okay right so okay. in between that one the 10x rule and then rich dad poor dad i think many people are going to go for the rich rich dad poor dad because that book is way popular but of course okay the last one is going to be um since maybe people might not actually enjoy reading or all, all that things but they might want to watch videos they might want to listen to podcasts so between podcast and videos maybe channels that you recommend that we watch or podcast do you listen to podcasts 
Um, no. no really. So, YouTube channels that you recommend that you watch, especially if you want to start Forex? Of course, number one is the latch rates. Like, okay. the latch rates, number two is the latch rates, okay. and number three is the latch rates. Like, don't go nowhere. Why are you going? I can't give, I can't, I can't vouch for someone else because I don't know what they're teaching. But when it comes to, um, okay, so, well, let me, let me chip in. So, the very first channel that you want to check out is the latch rates. Okay. The second is Koju Forex. I was about asking. Yeah. Because I've been seeing like yeah. you and Kojo. Yeah. <laughs> Kojo is actually like my mentor, right? Yeah. So the second is Kojo Forex, and then the third will be Dela Trades again, <laughs> right? So yeah, I don't vouch for any other one else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, I think Kojo mentored you, right? No, so I didn't really learn how to trade from Kojo Forex, okay. right? Along my line in Forex, like, I mean, I had already understood, I knew my strategy and everything. But when it came to the psychology part, that's when I had Kojo Forex as a mentor. Now, okay. understand that, like, Forex trading is actually 80% psychology. Yeah, yeah, the truth yeah. of the matter is those things you see on the chart that I think are confusing, trust me, like, it's the easiest. <laughs> it's even easier than math. Like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. math in this. Like, it's the easiest, trust okay. me. So, like, could you play the major role in my trading journey? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that's why it's my mentor. Ah, I see. I see. All right. Thank you so much, um, Bella, for having the time to talk to us. Uh, for those of us who've already started um, trading and are confused, and you said you handle a uh, one-on-one sections, um, can we reach out to you and if we reach out to you how much are we prepared to come around and if anyone is coming from this channel are we going to have kind of a discount you know i always vouch for discount for my my, my viewers so so if you're coming from if you're coming from the creative talk um, yeah, channel yeah, creative. yeah i mean you don't have a problem at all just hit me up and then uh, so I have like one-on-ones and then I have like group classes, right? So there's, there's this monthly class I organize, which is called Sniper Session. Okay. It goes for a hundred dollars. But if you're coming in from this particular, um, I mean, just hit me up. Probably we'll, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> We'll see what we can do for you, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah guys, so uh, links to everything, his um, Telegram channel, socials, everything will be in the description. And don't forget to check out the Latreat. Your final words, boss. My final way. So, the heights attained by great men, rich and kept, right? They were not achieved by a sudden flight. Okay. But they, whilst their companions slept, they kept falling up in the night. This was a quote that, like, my dad gave me, like, told me to always say that. Yeah. You know, those people that we are seeing that have made it today. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the field of forex, you guys looking at me, you're looking at Kojo, right? It was not attained, like, in a single flight, mm -hmm. right? But they, whilst their companions slept, like, you have no idea if this podcast like really went long i would have told you the sleepless nights it took me right the number of years it took me to always be on my chart the losing days right so just understand that it's a process and you need to en endure the process to enjoy the fruits of it so yeah basically that's amazing i i believe you enjoyed this section and you've learned a thing or two especially the three tips that he gave especially if you are starting out for street if you have any questions the law will be in the comment section to answer your questions so don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to his channel check out his channel and subscribe to this channel as well thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye, bye. <laughs>